If you want a shout out in my next video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment what's on screen the most. I will be shouting out the winner in my next video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to improve FPS in Fortnite using performance mode and NVIDIA Inspector. If you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe for more. So NVIDIA Inspector paired with performance mode gave me an insane FPS boost and it made my game feel a whole lot more responsive. So you're probably asking like what this software is. Well, in NVIDIA Inspector is a software or application in which you can change certain values of any program that you want. So you're probably asking why you should even use this software. Well, like I said before, you can change certain values within a software. So when it comes to Fortnite, changing a certain setting can be a deal breaker. It can make it to where you're able to play at a steady frame rate or not. If you're someone who struggles to get good frames in game or are always experiencing stutters or FPS drops, then I suggest trying out what I'm about to show you in today's video. So you're probably be asking how this software will increase your FPS and also lower your input delay. Well, there's a setting in the program called LOD bias. LOD bias stands for level of detail bias. By changing the values of this setting, you will be able to change the textures of the game. If you're on a low or medium end system, changing the setting will make it to where your GPU or CPU work at a lower usage. So if you're someone who deals with high CPU or GPU usage, changing the setting will help drastically with that. So the benefits of using this software with performance mode is improved FPS and improved game responsiveness. And the disadvantages of using this software is if you set the value too high, then your game will have a white or like green screen bug. But don't worry, you can always change the value and your game will be fine. The second is your game will look a little darker than usual, but you can raise the brightness in the Fortnite settings to get your game back to what it used to look like before. So a link to the software will be down in the description down below. Just click on the one that says latest stable and press download. Now pick the server that closest to you so you guys will actually need winwar to extract this program so a link to winwar will be down in the description down below as well but once you're done just press open or show in folder this should pop up right here right click on it press extract to nvidia inspector and then a folder should pop up open the folder then press on the nvidia inspector once this screen pops up just press yes and then here is the program so what you guys are going to want to do is press this little button next to your driver version and then a new window should pop up just wait for it to load all right so once it's loaded go to your profiles and just type in fortnite and you should see the fortnite profile right there just click on it and make sure it says this on the top in the green box so the setting that you guys want to find is the transparency super sampling it should be off just click the drop down menu and click aa mode replay mode all now make sure it says that now the second setting that we are going to change is the lod bias dx and the highest setting that i recommend going to is 0.375 Five, zero. Anything higher than this and your game will get that white screen or the green screen bug. So this is the highest that I recommend going. So just make sure your setting is on 0 0.3750. Press apply changes and you're good to go. Now you can close the software. So now just open up Fortnite. So now once you guys have loaded up Fortnite, just make sure your performance mode setting is actually turned on. So go to settings and just make sure that it's on. If you're still using DirectX 11 or 12 i highly recommend going over to a performance mode and using that paired with the nvidia inspector program because like i said before it's going to give you an insane fps boost i usually cap my frame rate at 144 but for the sake of this video i'm going to uncap my frame rate to show you guys my frame rate so let's go to settings real quick and uncap it now my game might lag it's because i'm playing on a uncapped frame rate while using obs so and as you guys can see, so I used to average around 200 to 250 in game, and now I'm getting well over 300. I've made other performance mode videos, so if you guys want to check those out, they will be in the eye in the top right corner or in the description down below. One video that I've made is fixing all of the bugs with the performance mode. So if you guys are interested in watching those videos, I will leave a link in the description down below, or just check the eye in the top right corner. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy today's video subscribe for more it's been your boy zyre and i'm out later